Baelish doesn't just want control of Sansa, he wants control of the Vale. By marrying Lysa and then killing her, he sets himself up as the guardian and regent of Robert Aaron, Lysa, and John Aaron's son and Sansa's cousin. If Baelish has custody of the underage Lord of the Eyrie, he in effect has a hold on the Vale, without intervention from Lysa. Had he not married Lysa, he'd have no reason to have custody of Robert. Hello everyone, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any new updates on your favorite TV series. He had to gain more power for himself. Lord Peter Baelish only desired control over Lady Sansa Stark because of two reasons. He had loved her own mother, Lady Caitlin Tully dearly and protecting her eldest daughter reminded him of the only woman he ever genuinely desired through Sansa. It was also her name that he wanted too. Sansa is now the key to the North which means that if Littlefinger has her he'll gain the entire North right through the rightful heir to Winterfell since he currently has the most influence over the girl. The only reason he married Sansa's aunt, Lady Lysa Tully, was because at the time she was already Lady Regent of the Vale to her sixth son, Lord Robert Arryn. And when Littlefinger wed her and eventually killed her days later, he gained more power since he now has full control over his stepson Robert, who is the Lord of the Eyrie and Warden of the East and he was even named Lord Protector of the Vale of Arryn, ruling in Robert's name since he's still too young. Littlefinger does not just want Sansa and the North. He wants total control over everything and everyone in the Seven Kingdoms. He currently has Harrenhal, the Riverlands, and the Vale at his disposal and now wants to get more lands for himself with Lady Sansa by his side. Cersei recalls Petter Baelish had offered to wed Sansa but he was considered an unsuitable match for a Stark and she ended up getting married off to Tyrion instead. Whilst Peter is a grand schemer he does take some wild risks. Marrying Sansa would have given him access to the North but would almost certainly have driven Lysa and the Vale against him, and Lysa had quite a lot of dirt on him that would have pretty much finished him off as a power in Westeros when it got out. Tywin's refusal of Sansa in order to bring Lysa into the fold seems to have worked far more in Peter's favor. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.